Welcome back to Ottawa U. Uh, this is a continuation video of the Bitoroid Transformer. Uh, we have a new um, a new transformer set up here with the primary in the middle, secondary one, secondary two, and uh, this is a little different from the last one in that we have this um, additional uh, secondary back EMF induced flux path uh, this way here and that way there keeping the flux uh, away from the primary. Uh, we have 104.8 volts going into our primary. Our power factor is approximately 75 degrees. Uh, it's on load right now. Our load, our purely resistive load is 27 ohms. We have 3.3 uh, volts across our 27 ohm load and our current into the primary is 0.00, .00 zero three amps. Now normally um, basically right now the transformer is operating at close to 500% uh, efficiency and the reason for that is because when the two secondaries are placed on load their induced back EMF uh, flux travels this way and this way. It avoids the primary and it is entering the, 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 the secondary coil, coils are feeding themselves rather than uh, feeding themselves and, and, and maintaining their voltage across the load without uh, the primary doing the work. Now normally in a, in a conventional transformer you have the primary and the secondary and the primary delivers its flux this way and uh, when you're on load the, the primary delivers its flux this way the secondary when it's on load it in has an induced uh, back EMF magnetic field which travels back to the primary causes the primary impedance to drop and the current from the source increases and the primary uh, magnetic field is uh, increases as well and that's what maintains the voltage across the load and normally uh, the conventional transformers uh, load power factor is transferred back to the uh, primary and uh, in the bitoroid transformer, uh, the, the power factor is very close to being, um, well, it's not 90 degrees with this one, but in previous ones it's been very close to uh, a power factor of zero. But you can see uh, with the alternate uh, uh, flex pass routes, the primary is basically um, pretty much unaffected by the secondary back, EM, back EMF induced magnetic fields. Thank you for viewing. Cheers. Welcome to the potential difference trend by toroid transformer video series. This uh, video is being recorded for Dr. Zan, specifically Dr. Zan of MIT, uh, who we showed the early stage transformer to in 2008 when we visited him at MIT. This is the updated uh, version and uh, basically uh, it's a uh, bitoroid transformer uh, 101 
tutorial and I'm going to go through basically the conventional transformer uh, for you and and then show you why the the bitoroid transformer is is different and how it operates differently basically um, in every conventional transformer there's generally a primary and a secondary the primary delivers its, its flux through a ferromagnetic core this way uh, and basically when the flux hits the secondary it induces a null load voltage in the secondary uh, the, the current that's in the primary coil is reactive current which means that it's 90 degrees out of phase with the primary voltage and in an ideal scenario in an ideal primary uh, all of the current that goes in uh, on one cycle is returned on the other cycle and the power being consumed by the primary on no load is the voltage times the current times the power factor and in this case the power factor is zero uh, voltage and current are 90 degrees out of phase so the power in the in the primary is is zero watts and uh, the current in the primary again is reactive current and the power in the primary is also called uh, reactive power when the uh, when the conventional transformer is placed on load uh, two things happen the the power factor of the load is transferred back to the primary coil the secondary coil uh, now has current flowing in it so it produces uh, a back EMF induced magnetic field which travels back to the primary when it hits the primary it lowers the primary's impedance that causes the primary to allow more current to flow that current maintains the flux through the secondary coil and maintains the power across the load if uh, this didn't happen the uh, voltage across the load would collapse and uh, there would be no real power delivered uh, to the load when the conventional coil is placed on load uh, now and the, now the primary coil is consuming real power and delivering real power the coefficient of coupling for the conventional transformer is one which means that all of the flux being delivered by the primary cuts through the secondary and uh, and uh, delivers uh, the no load voltage. Now again the, with the conventional transformer on no load the power factor is zero and when it's on load the power factor uh, in this case it's a purely resistive load the power factor of the load is transferred back to the primary and in, in this case the power factor is one and now the primary power is the voltage times the current times the power factor and the power factor is one so we have real power being delivered in the real power being consumed by the primary coil and real power being delivered by the secondary coil now the bi toroid transformer is slightly different in that it has two coils two sec two secondary coils the primary delivers its flux this way and that way the coupling coefficient between secondary 1 is 0.5 and secondary 2 the total coupling coefficient is 1 now when the primary is on no load it's similar to the conventional transformer in that uh, the power factor is 0 the voltage and current are 90 degrees out of phase the interesting part happens when the when the bi toroid transformer is placed on load the primary delivers its flux to the secondary this way and this way when secondary one is placed on load its flux has uh, now it has three flux path route uh, back to the back around uh, rather than uh, one as was shown with the conventional coil 
The secondary back EMF induced magnetic field can take a high flux path route this way. It can take a very high flux path route this way, or it can take a low flux path route this way, and that's the direction that the flux goes. And when it does that, it stays away from the primary coil. The primary coil uh, power factor does not change from no load to full load. And the secondary coil's back EMF induced magnetic field adds to the flux delivered by the primary coil, maintains, and that additional flux helps to maintain the voltage across the load and the power uh, through the load, and secondary two does the exact same thing. Uh, the coupling coefficient between the primary and the, and the secondary is one. The coupling coefficient between the secondaries and the primary is zero. Uh, so basically the bitoroid transformer operates as a magnetic diode. It allows uh, flux to be transferred in one direction but it doesn't allow flux from the secondaries to couple back to the primary cha and change the power factor of the primary coil nor does it allow the primary coil uh, primary coils impedance to go up because the net flux in the primary uh, doesn't change. So from no load to full load in the bitoroid transformer the power factor on no load is zero and the power factor on full load is also zero. So the bitoroid transformer uh, delivers real power but the primary coil consumes reactive power and uh, that's how the uh, bitoroid transformer works. The, the, it employs non-mutual coupling between secondary one and secondary two to the primary and it employs mutual coupling between the two secondaries and uh, basically that's how it works. Now. Um, what this uh, ends up being is uh, a transformer that uses uh, zero uh, real watts but produces uh, X amount of real power to a load. Thank you very much for viewing.